Hey guys, welcome to another episode in the deep playthrough of Assassin's Creed Unity. Beautiful sky. In between episodes, it started raining and the rain just stopped and then the music started. Very nice, very atmospheric, immersive. And man, in this outfit, I really have like throwbacks to the first time I played Assassin's Creed. I'm not even that big of an Assassin's Creed buff, not at all actually. But I do remember that first game. Ah, there's the cockade we need. And the feeling it gave like with total <coughs> omnidirectional freedom and also the feeling of not being a good guy, but actually yeah, not being like Sam Fisher or Solid Snake, but actually being an assassin really was quite something when it came out, the first game. Don't remember which platform I played it on. Holy shit. Alright, now one more chest and then we will be near our objective which is a little cafe theater mission probably these dudes want to scramble a bit stop i want to talk to you yeah that's right idiot <laughs> 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 this guy live. I accidentally killed this guy. Thank you very much. But he asked for it, so to say. The guards. It reminds me a bit of that World War II um, isometric real-time strategy game, Commandos, I think it was called. And there, if you had an alarm, the Germans would yell out, Alarm! 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 It's a bit the same like that woman over here. Guard! Guard! Peoples. Somebody has been robbed. I would like to help out, but I don't see any robber. Alright, our last box is supposed to be chest. And again, those windows, so well done. You see something behind the window. Even if it's not really something, it's only like a black yeah, triangle. It's a bit glitchy, but it gives a feeling of death. Like, those windows are actually... Um, yeah, there's like a, an interior behind the windows. Often games just have flat windows that you cannot even look through. <coughs> Here, for instance, this one. There's like a window curtain and then you, behind it you see a wall. That's also much better done than 90% of other games. Just checking out over here. Nothing there. Alright, the chest is supposed to be somewhere around here. Yeah, it's a little bit back. It's the house to the left and then in the middle. So that would be either that house or this one. Let's start with this one. I hear a chest. For sure I hear a chest. 
but hearing alone is not enough. We also need to see it. Ah, there it is. Whoever put a chest on top of the roof is a bit awkward. Thank you very much. And that about concludes it. Draw distance. I tried to enhance it via mods or a config file. I couldn't, but check out those textures over there. That's really unimmersive. But yeah, again, the game does so much more good than it does bad. So I can overlook a bit of low level detail. I don't know. You've got the wrong map. Oh my life! I, I don't know what to do! The other one is not doing anything at all. Hey, he is just randomly walking away. Not sure why I cannot loot him. Right, our person is this one. Thank God you're here. They burned most of Monsieur Duchamp's library already. Please save what you can. Right. So where is our next objective? Over there. Lads. 
so to say it was fun it also really hits home that actually there were burning books during the revolution which to in my view is never a good thing let's get back to the cafe theater and see if there's any more over there and maybe on our way there uh, I think I already collected enough books but it would be good to clear out this whole island first um, also read up a little bit about on the lore where am i now over here yeah let's just clear out this whole island in this episode why not so that means that cockades but also reading a bit on the lore this new bridge, the Pont Neuf, is now the oldest existing bridge in Paris. The laying of the first stone on May 31st, 1578, was a tearful occasion for Henry III, who had just lost two of his favorite minions in a duel. The king was coming out of the funeral service and it was raining. Always ready for a laugh, the Parisians subsequently dubbed the bridge Le Pont de Pleurs. That's from Plurier, I think that means crying. Or the Bridge of Tears. Ah, okay, they're tears. The Pont Neuf was a unique bridge in its time, the first to be built in stone, the widest, the most accessible, and unlike the other bridges of Paris back then, no houses were built along the bridge's spans. Right, so that's one. Then what do we have here? Plus Dauphine. It's like a square. In 1601, Henry IV announced that a public square, triangular in fact, would be created and given to the first president of the parliament, Achille de Harley, who had remained loyal to Henry during the wars of religion. Harley divided the square situated away from the traffic on the bridge into 12 lots in 1608. The houses built were rented by art artisans, tailors, printers, booksellers and officers of the nearby Palais de Justice. Up until 1633, one of the main attractions of the square, then a clutter of little houses, was the trestle stage used by the famous Parisian farceur Tabarin, Antoine Girard, who put on short Italian style performances with his brother and their little theater troupe. Trestle, no idea what that is. His motto was, the world is merely deceived by charlatans. Acting the Tabarin, faire le Tabarin in French became a proverb that literally no one has ever used. That's true. Uh, but I'm quickly making it a learning moment. What the hell does trestle mean? Trestle. A framework consisting of a horizontal beam supported by two pairs of sloping legs used in pairs to support a flat surface such as a tabletop. All right. So that stage was built on trestles, I assume. Trestle stage. Right, so we had that one. Then let's do this one. Saint Chapelle, we already read. Palais de Justice. I'm not sure whether we read this one. This ancient and ornate building that overlooks the Tour d'Horloge with its elaborate clock featuring figures of justice and law. was initially built in 1296 by Philip IV of France. In spite of his financial worries, it was here that he consolidated the dispensation of justice, although the judges soon came to be infamous for their corruption. During the revolution, the Palais housed the much feared Revolutionary Tribunal. 
think if you would become in front of the revolutionary tribunal, you would be screwed. All right, Pont au Chains, we we read. Pont Notre Dame, we read. This one we did not. Pont Saint Michel. The first bridge on this location was built during a lull in the Hundred Years' War in around 1378. Can you imagine a hundred year war? It was named after the small nearby chapel of Saint Michel in the enclosure of the Palais du Roi, Palace of the King, which also lent its name to the district. It was the first uh, location of a fixed bridge linking the Cité to the left bank. Like all other bridges at the time, it was fragile and often ravaged by floodwaters. At the time of the revolution, it was lined with 32 houses, which would only be demolished in 1809. So five, uh, 400 years later. God damn it. And you know that you, your, the bridge that your house is standing on is liable to be ravaged by floods. Not by my house over there. Right, another one, Petit Pont. One thing that can be said for this bridge is that it never changed names in 2000 years, despite the various floods and fires that would ravage and occasionally destroy it. The bridge has always been heavily used since it was the outlet to the Roman roads leading to Orléans and Lyon, two cities. It was also the obligatory passageway for students who attended schools on the left bank hill of the Montagne Saint Genevieve. All right. Nice. I do like it. I'm really learning about Paris here. Can imagine it's maybe a bit boring if you're not into this stuff, but I'm almost done. Only had one or two left, I guess. Um, Hotel Dieu. This is the oldest hospital in Paris, dating to the mid 7th century. Holy shit, that's old. It was originally started as a refuge for the poor and sick, funded by the nobility as a charity. By the time of the revolution, it had earned a terrible reputation. Those who died here were more likely to have contracted a disease inside its walls than outside. I hope that was their corporate slogan. The hospital has undergone numerous renovations over the years, but it still serves as an emergency center for the first nine arrondissements of Paris. All right, it's still in use today. They must be thrilled. All right, and then we go to Notre Dame. We already read, I guess. Let's quickly check it. Ah, let's quickly read it. Notre Dame de Paris is the foremost monument in Paris and the historic heart of its capital, of the capital. Its parvis is the point from which all milestones on the roads of France are measured. Built over <coughs> the course of nearly a century from 1163 to 1250, it was one of the first buildings in Europe to employ flying buttresses, which allowed for much higher and thinner walls around the choir and the nave. Personally, last thing I'd want near choir, choir is a thinner wall. Lock them in, then soundproof the bugger, please. The flying buttresses also provide the support necessary for the inclusion of the church's famous and astonishing rose windows. Ah, this is a rose window. So that could actually have an implication to where our Nostradamus enigma, the next one is, because that also references light coming into a rose or something, sunlight. But I assume the rose windows are those circular windows. And I also checked another church with had like a similar window, the Saint Michel or something. I don't remember their name. In there, the Nostradamus enigma was, yeah, not there. So. It's not for sure that it's in the Notre Dame, but I will have to take a look to check if that next Nostradamus enigma is uh, near that rose window, one of the Notre Dame's rose windows. During the revolution, the great cathedral was variously used as food storage, 
made a church dedicated to the cult of reason and later the cult of the supreme being. Many of its greatest treasures were looted and in 1793 an angry mob decapitated the statues of the biblical king of Judah that adored Notre Dame, mistaking them for former kings of France. This is what happens when the uneducated lose their heads. Only the ten great bells survived unscathed. The damage inflicted would not be repaired until 1845, so 50 years later. Interesting. <coughs> right, that's the Notre Dame. Um, yeah, that about wraps it up for this little island. Let's check this one, the Pont Rouge. We already read that one, pretty sure. A wooden painted bridge linking the two islets. The Pont Rouge survived the revolution but was soon destroyed and eventually replaced by the Pont Saint Louis. Alright, so we are here. Let's quickly get that cocaine over there. Here we go. Almost there. Come here a minute, Father. I'm sick of your kind. I'm a revolution. We're talking about. No, 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 no. That's what I mean. <laughs> Arno, good work. Oh shit! Wrong button. I actually wanted to loot him. Sorry. I actually did not want to kill you, but I know from your um, similar encounters that you would have killed that civilian anyways. So in that sense, I don't feel too bad killing a cold-blooded murderer. God damn it, it's so annoying that he often runs from stuff you don't want to. This is going pretty fluidly. Alright, apparently there is a cockade somewhere around here. I hear a cockade symbol or sound. Ah, here it is. You'll get nothing from me, you bastard. Poor dudes, has no legs. I do find that random murdering in the streets uh, happening a bit too often. It's a bit distracting or unimmersive. Those red. Uh, Pensed guys who just randomly kill every civilian they see. But whatever. Let's see what our next objective is. Uh, that would be. I'm now just thinking about my control because the disable hot button. It's the same button as the legend on the map. So often when I want to enable the HUD, which also enables the map icons, I first get into the legend and I have to click that away. It's all super annoying. Probably it's best if I remap that button for disable the HUD. Um, and maybe I will do the right thumbstick. Anyways, um, what is there to be cleared? A couple of chests over here. And a social club that we can renovate. All right, enough stuff over there. So let's get there. So that is just after the first bridge there is a chest I don't 
went. No. Get him. Ah, there. Won't oh, everybody God, help me? J'ai une famille, monsieur. Laissez-moi m'en aller, je vous en supplie. <laughs> right, anyways, where is the bridge? It's over there. understand why they build houses on it. They really considered it a street, so to say. I hear a book sound. Straight ahead, and then over there. Here it is. All right, and we are now going for a uh, locked chest. Um, in the inner courtyard, probably that requires some fighting. Get over here, you runt! I've got a bloody message for you! Come on over here, dudes. Come and say hello, you rat! What? <coughs> Horse, son! I'll avoid a fl- hope that the level of the lock is not too high. Yeah, this is never gonna to work. Alright, I can just disregard this one. Three pins. No, I'm not even gonna try this. Alright, let's try and also first see where our next objective is yeah let's try to renovate this social club it might be good for income again the detail of these signs Club. I'm not sure how this mechanic works. Renovate, yes. 
500. Let's renovate. Very nice. Fast travel points, social club missions. <coughs> <coughs> right, these are all really minor little missions. I probably won't be doing all those missions. I'm more focused on the collectibles and the primary campaign and the genuine side missions and the DLC. Right, first let's get this chest which is in the house besides the church. <laughs> right, I have no idea if I'm going in the wrong direction. I don't think so. Yeah, I totally missed this church actually. Right, then it would be over here, the chest. Chest. And I don't see it. Ah, there it is. Thank you very much. Uh, next objective. Oh. Will be the chest. In the little triangle courtyard. to aggro dead dudes because commanders apparently are very tough i thought there was like somebody knocked out there he, he despawned all right i hear another chest here it is
And there is also a cockade over here. Well, I do not see it. I do think there should be one around here. And there is one of those system recruiters. Alright, Cockade, where are you? On the building to the right. The law. That is what Judge Dredd said, if I'm not mistaken. Oh shit, wrong button. Can cockades also be inside? Yes, they can. Alright. Learning moment. Alright, next objective. Clearing out the place will be the cockade over. Ah, that's the one we couldn't access. It was below grounds and we didn't have the password to go there. It will be this chest, which is yeah, inside the building. Um, yeah, at the back side of the next building block. So, I would say... By the way, there was one thing I wanted to check outside, upstairs over here. Yeah, again, that beautiful texture work. Realistic, weathered, gritty, soft color tones of the Mediterranean countries. Very nice. Right, I would say that the chest is... I would say that the chest is in this building over here. Let's go up a bit. Here we are. Alright, next one will be... Locked chests. The cockade I couldn't access yet. The locked chests, yeah, if they are like super high difficulty, I cannot really see that from here. Anywho, it's two locked chests and Maybe I could clear out this bell as well. I'm not sure whether they respawn those bells. Did I already read this? It's a landmark. Which I cannot access. Probably I first have to get there. Because this one we did read. Alright, so two locked chests, 
a bell, an open chest, a landmark that we just have to read quickly, and one cockade, and that totally clears out the center islet of Paris. Of course, we still have quite a ways to go, but it's a good start, I would say. Also to get to grips with the mechanics and stuff, how the game hides things. So, yeah, it may be a bit boring for a playthrough. I'm actually quite enjoying myself messing up about in Paris a bit. Alright, I have to end this episode here because um, of the uh, file size otherwise becoming too big. Guys, hope you still enjoyed it somewhat. I hope to see you in the next episodes. For the meantime, do not forget yourself. Always do. Keep on gaming. See you later.